Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and as you can hear in the background, there's a lot of construction taking place because currently they're ripping down the Casa del Rey, which is at Ocean in Glenwood. This thing has been here, I wanna say like 60, 70 years. A lot of it's gone. I'm gonna flip the camera around for you guys to show you what it looks like. A lot of stuff still inside. You can see the original wallpaper, the original mint sink, which is really goofy to see. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put the camera around. Before I do, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. See the original green sink and the green tile. As you can see, it takes a while to rip down a building this big with that much concrete. We're gonna come back throughout the day to show you the progress on it. So it's been about two hours since our last update, and so I wanted to go ahead and come back and share with you what is left so far. I'll flip the camera around for you, but um, you can see not much has happened since the last time we filmed. They took out the rest of the place right over here and a little bit on this side. They took two dumpsters full of stuff away. I'm going to come back tomorrow morning when they come back to work. I'm assuming that this is at least one more, maybe two days until this whole place will be gone. Uh, let's flip the camera around. What is interesting is that you can see the original wallpaper behind the paneling. It's incredible looking. Look at that, you got that print here, you've got that print here, you've got this print, some of the same over here. So I wish that someone saved these windows because they are beautiful and could be used at a Victorian house or something like that. But anyway, I'm gonna come back tomorrow so that way I can give you guys another update.
you back again. It's about 11 something in the morning and um, it's time for another update. They did a lot of work so far. So over the night, I did learn a few things about the Casa de Rey. Uh, one of which that was built in 1925. I mean, you can obviously tell from the architecture that it was built from a very long time ago, including the how they put the name actually in the wall. One of the main reasons why they're knocking it down is because A, you see how the roof is flat. Supposedly that caused a lot of damage in the roof itself. And then on top of that, supposedly the bottom wood underneath, you can actually see it's kind of exposed down there was rotted away so much that in order to fix it, they would have to rip it all out anyway and rebuild it. So, I mean, at that point, it's kind of easier just to build something new. Now, to be honest with you, I thought it was a beautiful building at one time. I mean, I know they called it apartments, but at one time it was uh, people's people's homes. And so a lot of memories are made here. I know when we first posted the video yesterday, a lot of you guys kept on saying that back in the 50s, you guys used to love coming here. It used to be one of your favorite places. So they're pausing real quickly because the dumpster over here is completely full and they're uh, putting a new one. Let's get some uh, really close up shots of what it looks like so far. See the cabinets are still on the walls. Get some original wallpaper up there as well. It's funny to see the exhaust fan still kind of going. All right, so it's about 1.22, time for another update. So they have about three hours left for their day. I'm not sure they're gonna be able to get this whole thing down. But we're gonna come back in probably, I would say maybe two hours just to see where they're at. So it's five o'clock and they are done for the day. So it's time for one more update today and we'll come back tomorrow. Let me flip the camera around for you guys. As you can tell, they knocked out a lot of the concrete work down here on this full side. You didn't do too much since we last showed you earlier today. Look at that wallpaper still, man. Woo! You can tell the roof is really gone. There's the kitchen, at least some cabinets. And we'll continue down. You can see the hallway we showed you yesterday or earlier today on the video, depending on when you watch this video. Because I'm filming this over so many days, I apologize in the videos if I'm like, oh, if I showed you yesterday, it's because it looks like this is a three day, maybe even a four day. I mean, they're about halfway through. Maybe they won't be done this until Thursday. It's a big project. You can see there's some old windows and things back here. Hopefully someone claims them. And now we'll walk around the front. So we'll come back tomorrow. One more day, we'll see how many more days it takes, but um, Yep, see you tomorrow. Hey everyone, it's day number three on the demolition of the house. And let me tell you, they did a lot this morning. It's about 12 something right now. I only have this section and the whole back wall to go. Let me flip the camera around for you guys. You can tell they got rid of all the concrete slab down here and the wood. I realized how big this place was. It was massive.
as you can see today, they're knocking down a decent part of this very quickly. We're doing a bike riding video now. We'll come back in a few hours and see where they're at. They'll probably have this whole section done. I don't know if they'll be done by today. They have three hours left on their time, today at least. So we'll check back in later. So it's five o'clock and the crew is left for the day. And so I want to give you guys an update. The whole back wall is still on there. Well, the back room walls are still on there. And it uh, looks like this is going to be another two days until they're done. Let me flip the camera around for you. What is cool is the old way they used to run electricity through the roof or through the ceiling up here. It still seems. I have no idea how that was something. That's how they used to do it. It's strange. Let me flip the camera around for you so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see how they used to tack the electricity onto the beams like that. That's incredible looking, right? Also, what's really funny is that there's a smoke detector here that keeps beeping. It's kind of weird to stand here and then just hear that beep. This was that long hallway going down here. Steps nowhere at this point. This was the, uh, obviously where the electricity goes. Goes through. Look at that old box, right? These old fuse boxes. Here's the only part of the house left. Now all this is gonna get knocked down tomorrow back here you can see some pieces that they took down some windows not sure if anyone's taken this stuff but old doors what is cool is that there's old posters back here I have no idea what they would have said but it's pretty cool I'm sure that the sand and things down here haven't been seen since the early 1900s. Let me tell you, it smells really bad. And here's a close up of that old wallpaper again, this really old wallpaper. Anyway, we'll come back tomorrow, day number four to see what's gonna happen next. It looks like two more days, but I don't really know. But um, I guess, uh, I'll see you tomorrow or see you in, in a second. <laughs> hey guys, it's day number four. It's a bit windy today, but they're uh, still knocking a lot out. They got rid of the entire first floor. And let me put the camera around for you because it looks like they're ripping down that wall. You can see they're really ripping down a lot today. The top, it looks like they push the top stuff inside and then they'll start ripping it out and putting it to the dumpsters. Pretty soon they're gonna go on their break, but uh, let me give you some angles from around here because it looks weird now that they took the top layer off. Now we'll come back in about maybe two hours and see how much more they rip down. But it uh, looks like they'll have one more day. This looks like a five day project here. Hey folks, we are back again. Day number five, that's right. Five days later and the building is pretty much gone. All that is left 
is pretty much the bottom uh, foundation of the house. Now, I was gonna come back later yesterday, but then we started getting thunder and lightning storms around 3 p.m., so I figured they had stopped. But today, they woke up early, they came out, and let me flip the camera around for you guys and show you what's left. So while I am sad that the building is gone, you have to understand that there was way too much damage in there, as I said before earlier in the video, or earlier in the week, there was so much damage that there really was no way of fixing it up so that people could rent it again. Safety-wise, it made more sense just to knock it down, though it will be missed. Now, they'll probably have another day, probably actually the rest of the day, to take out that foundation, and that'll probably be it. I don't know if they pulled permits yet for a new building. Once they do, I'll put that online. Uh, but I do know that there's another place coming down soon that I'll try to get permits and video for you guys. But I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I do want to do a big shout out to all of my Patreon, those who support me on Patreon, because you guys allow me to do cool videos like this, such as coming back every single day in order to uh, film this video. And if you want to go ahead and become a Patreon, we've got some cool features and so many cool rewards. You can check it out by clicking the link below. But thank you so much for joining me if you haven't done so yet. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey, and as always, I'll see you guys on the beach.